So this video is going to be a little different from the videos I normally do for this channel. Instead of it being a mashup of highlights I came across for a certain player or character, we're going to take a more analytical approach, get a closer look on what a player does well, and in this video we'll start off with Oshihito Seth. Now, Oshihito is probably a name most of you are familiar with if you follow the uni scene in Japan, whether it's from his incredible run at Evil 2019, from the days of Club Sega Shinjuku West Exit Arcade livestreams, or elsewhere, it's highly likely to see him wherever the grind grid takes him. And he's certainly one of, if not the best, Seth player in uni, generally speaking. But what exactly is it about his Seth that terrorizes the ill prepared? In early arcade Uniel, Ohito was not quite the dominant force he was soon to be in the subsequent entries of the series. But his ability to expose and rip through opponents' defensive habits demanded the utmost composure from his challengers. Then enter 2015. The next version of Under Night in Birth, called Unis, was released to the arcades, and with it came many balance changes to the game system and to characters' kits. Buffs to Seth's health, as well as the introduction of his fastfall kick, added much needed stability to his game plan and complemented Oshihito's playstyle beautifully. <laughs> Through each of Yunus' major patches, he was the player to beat in arcade free play and local tournaments. Well, Ohito has occasionally been susceptible to volatile performances at larger scale tournaments. He proved himself in a sea of strong players from different regions of Japan at KSB 2018, taking over Eve's Phonon, who was one of the Kansai region's best uni players at the time, to win the whole thing. <laughs> Over the years, he has had strong rivalries with other uni players in Japan. Notes Carmine, Sonatus Eltnum, Clelem Spiakia, and Kyo's Gordo, to name a few. These players would always push Oshuhito to the brink and showcase the limitless potential of Seth play to uni players around the world. <laughs> さあ、分かっている相手の選択肢に対する答えは用意してきている。
Ojito's playstyle is difficult to characterize in a single word or phrase. But one thing is for certain, he will inevitably open up even the most resilient of defenses and will use Seth's bountiful tools to control the match. <laughs> You would probably agree that knowing how to use a character's normals is essential to playing that character at a high level. In particular, knowing the ranges at which a move can be used, improvising with those moves and scrambles, and using those moves to turn uncomfortable situations into ones that are more manageable. These are what set apart the good players from the best players. And indeed, I could spend an entire video pointing out how Oshuhito uses Sets 5A as a fast tall poke for catching air approaches or starting ground pressure, or 5CC in dashing C for sniping back dashes or other defensive errors from afar, or dashing B at tip range to vacuum opponents and reset pressure, or how he opens strings with 2B, 2A, 2C to achieve a medium class starter 6 frame low into two more low normals that combine to create a natural frame trap, or how he's always ready to spot and call out mid-string green shields to keep his turn and control the grid cycle, or how disciplined he is in terms of knowing when to continue pursuits and when to just go back to neutral. But here, I want to zero in on one thing. Perhaps what stands out the most about Oshuhito's playstyle lies not in all these things that he does do, but in what he doesn't do as often as other Seth players. Seth's patented unblockable setups. However, even if what he does isn't quite the standard training mode unblockable setups, this does not mean he is a stranger to using the unblockable move itself. Air 214B. Seth's unblockable dive is an air only move executed with quarter circle back B or 214B. Although its startup is long, once it completes, the attack will hit grounded opponents, regardless of whether they're in hit stun, block stun, or a neutral state. As long as they don't shift laterally or try to jump. At first glance, it looks easily telegraphed without a way to jail them in place with something like set score move 236x. However, what if you jail them in place just by inflicting so much fear into them that they dare not risk a narrow escape? This is fundamental to understanding Ohito's use of the unblockable move and how he ties it into the rest of Seth's arsenal. The unblockable move, while not very damaging on its own, still poses a relevant threat that enables Seth's powerful frame data to be effective via frame traps and whiff punishes. This, coupled with Set's excellent damage, mobility, and okizeme, allow for Ohito to deliver barrages of attacks during which he can safely disengage, all of which overwhelms and frustrates impatient opponents. Ah, it's no wonder Oshuhito has long been able to lay waste in the Hollow Knight, and indeed, with new strategies, combos, and techniques continuing to be discovered in the latest entry of the series, Uni Claire, we still probably aren't seeing Ohito at his full power. <laughs> A frightening thought, yes. It's what makes Undernight and Birth one of a kind. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs>
深淵のネファリウス、はい、教会のディスタント<笑>そう最後行ってくれるんですよ<笑>あれマジかって感じだな If you made it to this part of the video, thanks very much for watching. Please do make sure to leave a like and a comment. And also make sure to check out Oshimito's channel.、Um, it will be linked in the description. He's been streaming a lot lately, so please do be sure to check that out. And I hope to do more of these kinds of videos in the future, so look forward to that. And I'll see you in the next one.